So in PowerShell, you can think of everything as an object. And like real world objects, PowerShell objects have their own properties that you can do stuff with, right? So in the same way that real world objects, I guess two examples I have here are, are my mouse and my television remote control. Um, they're both kind of similar. I mean, they're, they're black and, and they both fit in my hand. Um, but the importance is their differences. I have one here that has a whole bunch of buttons and this, this one has a two buttons and a little mouse wheelie thing and they they even though you know they both have buttons those buttons do different things um, so when you're dealing with PowerShell objects you you really start to have the same questions you would if um, I guess you were living in the woods and somebody brought you to a computer desk and, and they said here work with this stuff you'd be like I don't what is this wheelie thing I don't know what this stuff does you know um, and those people probably would wish that they had PowerShell's get member commandlet because if they did, all they would have to do is pipe this mouse to the get member and then they could figure out what they can do with it and, and, and all its properties and what its properties are for. So let's talk about the get member and how that allows us to learn more about PowerShell's world and, and PowerShell's objects because that's uh, one of the most important important things so let's start with get process that's a it's a very common commandlet um, and when you run it you get all the processes and this is all the information I can see um, but what if there's more information uh, how do I how do I get to that information where is that information how do I find out if there's more information than this well as I said Let's pipe it to get member, run it, and as you'll see here, this is this is a whole boatload of information about that get process uh, commandlet or or object. So um, we have properties here, and methods and script properties. Let's focus on um, the properties though, because those are those are like little uh, descriptions. Um, for for that object and the one I want to focus on here or well I guess it's a script property it's it's the company so let's say in this example I want to find out um, the I want a list of all the company um, processes that are are running right let's just say for instance uh, so how would I get a list of all the different companies from from get process well uh, after using get member to identify that we have a company um, property here that we can use we can combine that information with other commandlets to further uh, achieve our goals so now that we know let's get rid of get member and let's um, let's select um, the company uh, property. So we say select object and we give it that script property company. And when we run it, you'll see, oh, it, it pulled all these different company names. And these are all the company names for those same um, processes that we saw earlier it's just it's it's something that uh, get process does not readily display and there's ways that you can even have it display all that information but this is this is what it it just gives you by default so you can actually go and find more um, and you can refine it by just those results so we're still dealing with the get process object we're just dealing with stuff that wasn't ready available to us uh, um, just by looking at it so uh, now you may be wondering why why were why was it filled with all these empty spaces in here uh, and that's probably because some some of the processes don't have a company name listed but it displays that value for it anyway so it's 
it's, it's essentially an empty value. Um, so what if we can fix that? Well, we can. We can use that same company property object with a different commandlet to, um, to further refine those results. So now I'm going to pipeline that company information that we've selected, and I'm going to use the where command. And I'm going to say um, where the current pipelined item um, where the company is uh, not equal to null. So, so what I'm telling it is that after you get all these companies, okay, I see that there's a bunch of empty values in there. They're they're null values. It's it's just nothing, and I want you to um, only only give me value, um, only return stuff that have some sort of value in it. So I, I don't want an empty value. Uh, when I run that, you'll see that now all the empty values are missing. So that's how you can um, achieve your goals by, by starting with the get member. Uh, and and learning more about the the objects in your world you can you can try it with with anything if you get get item um, so I'm providing it a folder now and I'm saying get the member of that folder object because folders are objects to files are objects variables are objects so when I say get item C colon temp and then I pass that uh, folder to get member you'll see I have even more stuff that I can do, uh, do with that folder so uh, extension name parent so what if I wanted to what if I needed to find the parent of some folder well I could probably even do a file too let's do a file here real quick DB so here's some different stuff for files as well uh, read only full name blah 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 so you can use those results um, what else let's try a variable um, equal to string and then we pipeline variable to get member So now we have all these variable methods that we can work with to lower. So let's let's try the to lower. I'm going to make this a capital S up here. So when I run variable, it says string. But if I do variable dot to lower, you'll notice that it outputted that same variable um, lowercase so variables are objects too and they have their own properties and and methods and uh, different things you can do with them so the PowerShell uh, world is a very rich world and uh, it's easy to explore those those different things with get help and get member and um, those those are really the top two commandlets that you want to have in your uh, in your power belt is the get member and get help because they will they will help guide you. Um, I know when I did a lot of batch scripting, I always had to go to the internet to find that it's some sort of trick or this or that. But uh, things are, are much more straightforward in PowerShell, and and you have the tools there to find out um, how to achieve your goals. So check it out, get member. Pass everything that you can through get member and you'll you'll see if it works or if it's got more stuff and, and that's a good way to start. So thanks for watching.